Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to this week's episode of Peace of Mind. And we're starting off in this little grove of trees. I started to build my house using this wood, black quarry wood, I believe it's called, from the plants mod. And my game kept crashing. At first I thought it was the, the wand, this thing, the diamond wand, because that's what I was using to place the blocks. And I thought it was that, but it seems like it's the wood, because I was chopping down some of these trees just to get them out of the way, and it didn't like that either. So I might as well show you my house, my new house. You can see it looking all very glass and modern and kind of out of place from the village, but that's okay. It's my door. It's all very basic quite big it's bigger than my usual houses and this is the upstairs there's no roof yet but I was going to do lots of stuff off camera and then I thought wait a minute we've got mods in here that we can you know we have to do it as part of the quest and we can you know we can build this house we can decorate the house together but basically all I've done is just use cobble and glass panes well, downstairs there's glass panes, and upstairs there are they are glass blocks, because there's a mod that I want to use, and it works on the glass blocks, but not on the glass panes, as far as I can recall. So I thought, yes, we'll do that together. Let's make some charcoal, so we can make some torches. So we should sleep. Actually, let me take my bed upstairs because that's going to be where the bedroom is. Should I put it? No, not there. Let's put it here over by uh, one of the big windows. Oh, it's not night time. I thought it was. Oh, we've got an eclipse. Okay. There you go. I thought it was night time. We have an eclipse. Let's have a look at the options that we have. Decoration station. So I want to look at the platformer mod. I want to look at chisel and saw bench. So let's have a look at the platformer first because I know you can make stairs and rails and pla actually no, we'll look at the chisel first because then we can chisel some stuff. I bought all of my chests over so I have no idea where anything is. Chisel. Well, no, that's for the chisel and bits mod. I don't want that. Oh, do they not have anything for the other chisel? That's interesting. Well, I don't want to do chisel and bits. I know what that is. It's a mod that lets you decorate other things and you can break blocks down into tiny little bits, which is where the, bit, the bits come from. And you can use it to place to make intricate, intricate designs and inlay blocks with other blocks. So, for example, I can chisel bits out of the cobble and then put in different blocks so it looks like a pattern within the cobble but um that's not what I want to do this is what I want so you need a diamond chisel a piece of redstone a piece of gold and that gives you the eye chisel that's what I want the diamond chisel so a stick and a diamond we can do that a stick and a diamond gives us a diamond chisel and then the eye chisel is that and this chisel mod, not to be confused with the chisel and bits mod, lets you decorate blocks in game. So if I right click, well, we don't have any blocks in here. So for example, if I click on the dirt, you can change the dirt so it can look like different things. Let's find cobble. So you have your, the first one will always be the basic Minecraft block. And then you have different types of cobble. So you've got cracked cobble and weathered bricks and cracked bricks and wide bricks and case bricks. And you go through, it has lots of different patterns. So I might decide, for example, that I want... Let's have a look. Okay, those are panels. Circular, slanted. And some of the a lot of the textures are connected. See that would make a that would make a very cool floor actually. 
I like that. It looks a bit like carpet. Um, weathered bricks, cracked bricks, wide bricks. I think wide bricks. Let's do wide bricks. And we want a panel. So we can chisel that. And also you can chisel things that are already existing. So if you look, I've got my cursor pointing over the bricks and it's flashing. That means I can chisel it. So if I chisel it, oh, and you left click to that, it will change the bricks to what you want. And it will take durability out of the eye chisel. Also, if you look down, if you look here, you see panel, hollow, plus. I'm not sure what those are for. The other ones, I know for single, it will do a single block. And for panel, it will do a, a three by three square. But you can change, you can, you can cho also change it down here. So you can do a single, a panel, a column, a row, contiguous, Chisel an area of a light blocks extending 10 blocks in any direction. I think this is what we'd want, contiguous. So let's try. So yeah, so now we've got it there. It will, it will chisel all the blocks from the ones in front of me all the way around to the front door. Ah, I keep forgetting. Left click. There you go. So it's very handy. And if we look on the outside, so if we go on the outside and we click a square, so there, so you see all those bricks will be affected. Like I said, it takes durability, but it makes the job a whole lot easier. And also you can, um, you can chisel blocks that are in your inventory. You can chisel blocks that are in your inventory. So then if I wanted to add more blocks, I could just chisel them in my inventory and then add them rather than adding them once they're already put up. But because I'd already built the house, it didn't make sense doing that. Right, let's go upstairs. I think we've got all the ones downstairs. Yeah, it takes, it takes me a little while to get used to it, but we'll get there. Now for glass, right, let's change to glass. You have different options. So again, you have the Minecraft glass. Then you have bubble, Chinese, Japanese, dungeon, uh, light glass. It looks like it has just a border around the edges. Gray bordered, ornate. Oh, that looks pretty. Screen, shale, steel frame, streaks, thick grid, thin grid, iron fence, and asymmetrical lead glass. How does that look? And also you can cycle through bubble. I don't like bubble. Let's see if we can find some clear glass. That's grey bordered. Okay. And that's, oh, that's the, um, the thick grid. It looks a bit like a dungeon. Right, we don't want thick grid. We want the grey border. Well, the, at least the grey border is thicker. Not thicker. It doesn't have as much. Oh, okay. Because we have a wide panel, they've got the streaks on it. But if it was a smaller panel, like these two, it wouldn't look like it. Okay, now let's go downstairs and see if it works on the panes. No, we really need to do something about our storage soon. <laughs> and then again for the floor, are these slabs? Can you chisel slabs? You might not be able to. No, you can't chisel slabs either. Okay, that's okay. We need a crafting table. Two sources of red dye and six iron ingot. Okay, um, I have to go mining because I have no iron. And, oh, it's a fish. Ooh. And I was going to go mining, then I remembered we have this temple from Astral Sorcery. And I know that under one of the columns, we usually find a, oh, okay. Oh, that's because it's a big one. You usually find a chest, but seeing that this is a big astral sorcery temple, there'll be chests on the inside. And sometimes you find iron. 
Why are you doing that? Okay, that's interesting. But when we start doing astral sorcery, we will need this temple. It's a very good find. Okay, platformer. Oh, we need two pieces of red dye. And we have the platformer crafting table. Now, basically, with the platformer mod, you can make different kinds of platforms. So you have this, which is flooring. You have these ramps, which you can use for stairs. I've also used them. I've, I've, I've been using them in my Autonaton series, and you can check that out. The link will be in the description below. And you can use these for either stairs, or you can. I've been using them as roofs as well. And then you have like raised flooring. I'm not sure what these are. I've never actually looked to see what they are. I'm sure you can use it as like scaffolding or something. It looks like something you could use for scaffolding. And you have um, railings and also handrails. And the best thing about it is you can use blocks, any kind of blocks. So for example, if I put cobblestone here and cobblestone here, then I can make a cobble floor. I can make cobble ramps, stone ramps. I can make a stone floor, stone frame. Actually, hold shift for more info. Okay, it doesn't say what it what you can use it for. Stone rise, which is the fences or the handrails which you use on the stairs. Let's see, where would I put my stairs though? How would I put my stairs? I didn't think about that because everywhere has a window. So you're going to see it going past the window. You have the door here. I got to think about what I want to do with the stairs. Maybe I can try and do. Oh, I don't know what I want to do yet. But you put your all your materials down here, and you can preview it. So, for example, if I wanted to get some wood slabs, uh, birch. I've been using lots of birch. Do I have any? Let's take some of these slabs and turn them back into planks. I'm not sure which mod does that, but it's very handy. So you just put, and it's a shapeless recipe. You just put two slabs in your crafting table and it will turn it back into planks and that goes for most of the, the planks also cobble and stone cobble on top and birch below and again you can scroll through all the options and you can see what it's like and actually I like those for the stairs but like I said I don't know not quite sure how I would how I can do like circular stairs maybe I should do it in the middle of the floor that might be a good thing Okay, and then let's try something. So I put my tip materials down in the bottom and it will make as many as it can, two at a time. Oh, but you need a platform as well. Let's make some platforms. See, this is, this is fun when you're learning stuff. Stone floor or flat platform? Let's try flat platforms. I oh, know, not a flat platform. Okay, not a flat plat. Well, maybe. Maybe if I put it here. And if I put another flat platform. No, that's a wrong thing, Shane. Wrong thing. If I put another flat platform. Let me see. I'd have to place it more to the left so I can get the handrails in. There's a handrail there handrail there or I can just make sure I place it to the middle and then I don't need to put in handrails because this mod it very much depends on where you have where you put your cursor because you can have right let's start from this side I can if my cursor is pointing to the middle then the stairs will place but with no gap for a handrail if I point it towards the right, then I have a gap for a handrail on the left. And if I point it towards the left, then I have a gap for a handrail on the right. And that is with all of the blocks. So it can be very, very finicky. See, I don't know. See, that would bug me. Maybe if we make that one, the stone floor. Let's see how that fits. Okay, that's better. That's what we want. So we want two stone floors. And again, be careful where you place it. All right, we want it smack dab in the middle. Yeah, I need a block in front of me. 
so that I can place it in the middle. There, that's it. All right, let me keep doing this. Oh, and it looks nice from the underside. And then we'll be able to go all the way around up into the middle of the house. So I will come back to you guys once I finished. Okay, there's a problem. I've tried making the stairs, but I need to make it two high instead of one high, which I did here, <laughs> which is a bit silly. But you know, I do this stuff so then you don't have to, you can learn from my mistakes. So I'm going to have to go back round again. So you go round and you go up. All right, let's take out this stone floor and that one. So this is all fine. You go up, around, up. And then here you need, so I need to put down two cobblestone and you put, um, I have to remember, you have you got to be careful where you put your cursor. Up, and then we need to go up again, right? And now this is where I should be able to put my stone block, stone floor, right there. So it's not going to... And then I need to be able to turn again around the corner. So, up the stairs. That would be a stone floor. You need to be right in the middle. And then now this would be another stair, I think. Let's check this and make sure we can actually fit under it this time. So you go up and around, up and around. Actually, this should probably, this should be a floor. No, it should be stairs. Because I think if I make that floor there, I won't be able to fit under it. Let's try it and see. Okay. So let's try it. You go up, up. Up. Let's try making this into a floor. It looks a little bit obzocky. Let's take away the support beam in the middle. So it's more of a, a freestanding structure. Let's have a look. It's a little bit... Oh, there's a bit of cobble we need to get rid of. Okay, let's have a try. So you start from the bottom. Ah, you've got the stone floor. You can go from there then. Yeah. Okay, if I put this here, am I going to hit my head on it? Yeah, because this you definitely, it sees that, yeah, you hit the, the hitbox, so you'll start to climb it. Well, then maybe, maybe we don't need that. We can start from here. Now then that's a bit. And again, we have the same problem. Okay, we can't start from underneath the stairs. Yeah, that works. Or we can eliminate that altogether. I think we can do that. We can eliminate that altogether. And just start the stairs. That's too far back, isn't it? There. Yeah. That could work. You know what? I'm happy with that. That is pretty cool. I'm 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 well chuffed. I don't know if the birch is a bit too much. It would have been better with dark wood, but we don't have a lot of choices, to be honest. The wood I really wanted to use, it makes the game crash. And I can't remember if I mentioned it. I turned off um chunk animator, which is the mod that makes the chunks fly towards you or, you know, slide towards you or fly up or fly down. Um yeah, I didn't I didn't like it. It was it was just driving me nuts. And also, when you're finished, if you don't want any more, you can 
But do we have anything? Oh, we've got stone floors left. So you can put them in this slot, which is the deconstructor, and it will put the components back into your stash as long as you have enough to put in to put back a whole thing. So for the stone platforms, we have four. So that got rid of all of them. But with the stone floors, we had an odd number. And the stone ramp, we have an odd number. So it's not going to de deconstruct it. But, I mean, just having one odd stone stair or stone ramp is not the end of the world. Oh, we needed the monkey wrench. Displays placement guide. Does it really? Oh. Platform placement guide shown when holding the wrench in offhand and holding a wrench in a platform in main hand. I did not know that. I've learnt something. Okay, can we do this now? Yes, we can. And we've got the monkey wrench. First person platformer. <laughs> That's quite funny. So let's claim that loot chest. And even... Uh, a wooden platform and a wooden ramp. We can do that. That's quite simple. Get a loot chest for that too. And like I said, we don't need them, so we can put them straight back into the deconstructor and it will put give us back our, our um our planks. Elytra, emerald and a diamond. Oh eight emeralds and sixteen diamonds, that's even better. Don't want an iron chisel, okay. get a loot chest for that they want a stone chisel and a chiseled bit bag we can do that we need wool eight bits of wool around a chiseled bit of stone we need to put a block in front of us and then what did i just do oh so if I shift, hold on shift, it sinks into the block and I can take out little bits. Can you, I don't know if you can really see it because it's not a good, uh, you can't, I've just taken out, I've just like dug a groove along here. So in my inventory, I've got 10 chisel bits. Left click to chisel, right click to place. Use left alt to display menu. That's my left. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. So medium cube. Oh, so if I do that, I've just taken out a big chunk in the middle. So I could make like a, a pot or something. Oh, and of course I have no space in my inventory. Did I just... Oh, it puts them... Okay, so it makes... You're making a space that is a medium cube, but it's picking up. It's turning it into little bits. So it's now taking up all my inventory. So if we make the bit bag, we can do that. So it's the eight wool around a bit. That gives us the bit bag. And now the bit bag will hold all the bits and then I don't have to worry about it spamming my in oh it's even got the ones in my inventory or automatically restock and store bits and it has 777 oh that's pretty cool is that a lucky thing 777 palm wood planks it's quite addictive I can see why people have said that it's finicky but it can get addictive so then I can take the bits Oh, I can put them back in, but only a, a bit at a time. I can see why people will, why people are fascinated with this and how you can how you can use it. Because all of a sudden, there's loads of possibilities. Quest book. Let's claim that loot chest. A clipboard. And there's our clipboard. We can claim that, or we can make a bookcase. There you go. So six slabs on each side, three, six planks on each side, six slabs down the middle gives us a bibliograph bookcase and you can store all your books in it. It's functional, as it says, pretty and functional. So all the manuals and stuff you get from various mods, you can put them in there and it fills up and looks just like a real bookcase. And let's get our loot chest for that. 
but we can make a bonsai pot. And to make a bonsai pot, you just need to take the bricks, put them in an upside down helmet shape, and you've got a bonsai pot. And you get another bonsai pot for that. And basically what you do, you can grow things in it. So for example, we want to make a paper tree. Because that should be paper paper sapling. So you need three pieces of paper plus a sapling. That gives you the paper bark sapling. You can put that into the bonsai pot and it will grow um, paper bark saplings. It will drop saplings, leaves, oak wood, sticks and paper. So instead of having to grow sugarcane we can do that. To end the episode let's use our clipboard so right click and then we can write what we're going to do so in the next episode we are going what are we going to do right click click here all right decoration station tier one completed oh there you go shift click so decoration station tier one completed that's what we're going to do in the next episode so today we have, what have we done? We've started the, X, the platformer mod and we made some stairs. We used the chisel from the chisel mod to change our bricks. We used the chisel from the chisel and bits mod to see how we can create some really funky designs. And we made a clipboard. I think that was it. And did we open all of our loot chests? No, we didn't. Let's open the last one. The golden apple. That's okay, but not what we need. That is so not what we need. So next week we'll continue with doing some more decorating. And in between episodes... I'm so proud of these stairs. Is that my feet? Okay, I don't know why I sounded like a troop of little leprechaun running up the stairs. But, um, so yeah, so that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.